By the end of last year, Entebbe International Airport was handling over 1.5 million international passengers, a number that has since grown. In order to cope with the increasing passenger volumes, government acquired a 200 million US dollar loan from China's Exim Bank to expand and develop the airport to international standards. That opened Entebbe to the precarious challenges faced by the aviation industry on the African continent, including theft, security, and human resource personnel to man the expanding tasks. During the Second General Assembly of the Association of African Aviation Training Organizations, ATO, held at Imperial Royal this morning, the President, Shagbe Sadamba, said they are aiming at coming up with solutions to such problems. Develop centers of excellence in all disciplines of the aviation industry in Africa. Be the voice of African aviation training centers, representing their interests at national and international forums. Promote the compliance of the compliance to national and international standards of its members. The Minister for Works and Transport, Monika Antege Azuba, who was the chief guest, noted with concern the great need for professionalism in the industry to avoid gross damage. African aviation infrastructure needs to be manned by qualified personnel who can ensure the highest standards of safety so as to reduce or even to eliminate the accident rate on the continent. Azuba also reiterated government's commitment to support the industry, especially in the implementation stage. The government of Uganda and my ministry in particular will be waiting to receive these conclusions, especially those that we must implement in order to improve the standards of our aviation training organizations, we will examine the areas that need our attention and ensure very timely implementation. The delegates who spoke to WBS TV think political commitment from all stakeholders and decision makers should be a priority in developing the industry. The, the government or the political system do not see direct correlation between economic improvement, enhancement, growth and evasion. Meanwhile, we all know that we have about two or three border gates, which is land, sea and air. And air news travels very fast. Lack of experts and you have aging experts, so you have an organization that people uh, are even 70 years, they are still working because of lack of, of it and lack of training facilities. Because uh, we in Africa, we need to develop our training, we want to develop the people, and how do we do that? So that's the essence of uh, the submission of ATU. It's a great opportunity for Uganda, especially the aviation training institutions in Uganda, to learn from their peers across the globe. The 3 d General Assembly has attracted over 100 delegates from all over Africa in the aviation industry. It is running under the theme Aviation Training Partnership and Collaboration, Challenges and Opportunities. Jesley Nechibule, Andrew Kagwa, WBS-TV, Kampala.